Hi beautiful souls, welcome to my channel Elle's Temple. My name is Elle, I'm a goddess guide and intuitive tarot reader and today I'm so excited to be bringing you a very special, very short reading today on what is the universe helping you with at this time or we could also say what are the goddesses helping you with at this time because we have four beautiful goddesses for you to choose from today. So if you are drawn to the beautiful goddess Bridget with Creative Spark, you will be pile number one and your timestamp for your reading will be in the description box below. If you are drawn to card number 32 with Mama Keela with the moon, you will be pile number two. If you are drawn to Schooled with the future, card number 46, you will be pile number three. And if you are drawn to Epona, card number 14 with wise leadership, you will be pile number four. Okay, my love, so take a moment to pause the video if you need a little bit more time to choose which pile is most drawing your, you in. If you are drawn to more than one pile, you can certainly take messages from across more than one pile to fit your situation. It may be that there's more than one thing that you're working through at the moment or working on or wanting to manifest. So it may be that there is more than one pile or more than one goddess who has some messages for you today. So always trust your intuition. Only ever take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay, my loves, I will see you in your pile. Hi there, pile number one. If you chose the beautiful goddess Bridget with Creative Spark, you will be this will be your reading. So straight off the bat, pile number one, I get the vibe for you that you are a beautiful creative soul. You are my writers, my musicians, my um, creatives, painters, maybe artists in some sense, or um, you like doing crafts or something. You work with something creative possibly in your job, or you're just very creative outside of your work, even just in your spare time. You like creating things, making things, um, coming up with like it could even be sort of coming up with ideas for things, designing something, um, coming up with like prototypes, whatever it might be. And what the universe is helping you with at this time is some sort of spark of an idea that is really going to be something that you're going to start finding some traction with and being able to really work on is what I see for you. So let's get into your cards and see what other guidance the goddess has for you. So straight off, we have got with the tarot. Uh, the two of wands. Yeah, exactly. There is some sort of a vision that you have for some sort of project or something that you can sort of see um, an idea for. It's like you've already got the idea, you've already got a concept, you've already got some kind of project that you have sort of started envisaging, envisaging, if, bleh, I can never seem to get this word out, envisaging. Um, you started th thinking about it, you started planning it, um, and there's this phase where you're kind of putting down these it's like sowing the seeds kind of thing. It's like looking out into the future and kind of saying, okay, this is what I want to create. This is what I want to start. This is what I really want to focus working on. You can see here this this um, figure is looking through sort of two wands, like the foundation that have been planted, kind of like two creative seeds have already been planted. And she's looking out holding a globe. So it's like, how is this going to take off in the world? Like, how am I going to get my work out into the world? Or how am I going to... Um, essentially like reach people with this creative idea is sort of the vibe that I'm getting it's like there's something around um what steps do you need to put in place because you can see she's kind of climbed to the top of this platform here and she's sort of looking out at like an upper view so it's like or like a high view out into um the distance kind of seeing like what can I manifest here like what can I do with this idea so I feel like you're at this point where you've yeah you've kind of planted some seeds of something you've already sort of had the idea or if you haven't this is something the universe is certainly going to be helping you with um so that you can create some kind of foundation for something to come to you or for you to put something out into the world is what I'm seeing here next we've got lighthouse don't doubt your worth yeah exactly I kind of feel like with lighthouse and this woman kind of looking out at the world it's like you have this beautiful creative light you have this beautiful creative spark in you you have this um all these wonderful ideas to share all this beautiful creative energy to share you are a light for people like you are like a lighthouse you know if you think of the the function of a lighthouse it is to be able to guide other ships in safely into harbor sort of thing you know especially during foggy 
weather and things like that it's like you know they they are that um you know that stable foundation they are they are on land and they're shining the light out so that ships who are maybe struggling a bit on water and we've got water in this card um here as well they can come in so it's like there's something around you being like this lighthouse for people, you being able to shine your light out so that people can um, maybe receive some sort of upliftment from you, some sort of motivation from you, um, some kind of feelings that, that helps them kind of shift through something or... Um, yeah, there's just something around like you being like an example for others or you being someone who... Um, yeah, is able to kind of put your work out there. And it's something that really helps other people. Um, and it, it's saying here as well with don't doubt your worth, if some of you have been holding back on this idea or this project and kind of putting it out in the world with that, you know, globe that she's holding here, it's like, oh, should I put this out to the world? Should I give this away to people? Should I, you know, release this idea? Should I release this song? Should I release this painting? Should I release this book? You know, whatever it is that you're thinking about, it's like, don't doubt your worth. It's really important to hold on to your self-worth and, and, you know, that you are a beautiful creative spark. You, you, you know, you're as good as anyone else. You have that that divine spark, that spark of divinity within you, like your work is worth it. It's worthy of being seen. It's worthy of being received by the world. It's worthy of being put out there. So next we have a oh, beautiful happiness. Yeah, I feel like your work and what you're going to be putting out is both something that brings you a lot of happiness, but also brings a lot of other people happiness as well. Um, I see that as well. This is something that with the dolphins, it's, it's like you have a lot of fun and lightness in your work um it's it's it brings you a lot of joy it brings others a lot of joy to do it it brings it, yeah it just makes you feel really happy doing it um also i believe dolphins i think mate for life so this could be something that um you know it it's like the type of work that once you're on this path once you've started doing this project it's going to be something that you'll be doing potentially quite long term um, and the more that you can trust in your own self-worth and your worthiness of sharing this with the the rest of the world, the, you know, the more that um, it's like you can create that foundation for yourself and receive that like re reciprocal value for what you're putting out in the world. Next, we have transition. Yeah, I feel like you're going, some of you are going through a bit of a transition at the moment, maybe with being, um, maybe having some issues with self-worth or some doubts around around like with that I am always enough like maybe some of you have felt like you you aren't enough to kind of put your work out there or to share your work with the world or um also with the two of ones I'm getting some of you um putting it online because I'm seeing with the the globe and the person kind of looking through that um those two ones it's like that idea of like oh should I put this on the world wide web right like should I share this with the world online um and I feel like you're maybe going through some kind of transition of trusting your worth, trusting that you are enough, trusting that your these creative ideas that you have are worthy of being put out online or shared with the world or will make people happy. They it will be something that will be well received by people. Um, it's like you're, you're, you've got this sort of vision, you've got this goal that's kind of in the distance with the two of wands and you're you've got a sense of where it might go but I feel like you're there's that you're sort of at the in-between stage at the moment you're in transition from sort of coming up with that spark of the idea and actually sharing it um getting it sort of essentially bridging it across from that um you know stage of just having a vision having an initial idea and the actual stage of really sharing it with other people so next we have a oh, beautiful pink calcedony with creativity, self-expression, life is your canvas. This is such a perfect card to get for Bridget with creative spark. So there's a strong message here around creativity and using your creativity, sharing your creativity, um, you know, whatever sparks of ideas you get, you know, really working on those, trusting that they are worth being seen. Um, trust, you know, like trusting your own self-expression, you know, in whichever form that is. I'm picking up a strong um, uh, vibe that some of you may be painters because with life as your canvas, it's sort of like, you know, you you literally are painting, you know, things from your life. Maybe some of you are, you know, doing things like creating your own um, oracle decks or something like that even. Um, but there's a strong message around um, 
sort of essentially like with life as your canvas, it's like use your life experiences, use your you know, use the things that are happening day to day, even use little rituals or, or um, ideas that you're just getting as you're going about your day or, or just going about your life um, and feeling things, whatever it might be that you're feeling, you, you can use that for, you know, as art in a way is what I feel like this is saying with that life is your canvas. It's like, you can, you can use your life to, um, as inspiration or as, as a canvas to like kind of paint, paint on almost. Um, so that, that might be different for all of you, depending on your medium. Of course, there'll be all sorts of different kinds of artists here. Some of you might be writers, some of you are designers, whatever it might be. But if you've had some kind of creative idea, some kind of spark of like, oh yeah, like I've been thinking about making little, um, I don't know, like little, little sort of pieces of art, little affirmation kind of, um, uh, you know, artwork things or like, you know, with pictures and then affirmations on them or, you know, some kind of like an oracle deck or or paintings or something that people can put on their wall, I'm kind of seeing. Um, or even some of you might be writers. It could be like saying if you're a novelist or something, life is your canvas, like use your life and things that have happened to you as ideas for your novel, right? Or like, you know, you can kind of um, sneakily use characters from your day, from your life as like, um, you know, to kind of inform some of the characters in your novel like if you if you disguise it you know well enough sort of thing you know it's that kind of vibe but um yeah there's just this very beautiful energy around using using things in your own life using things in your own environment to um as inspiration or as fodder kind of thing for like what you're what you're wanting to create what you're wanting to put out in the world and definitely not trusting any kind of doubts, like, because doubts will really scream at you, you know, you'll hear things like, you know, blocks from your ego or, or whatever these fears saying, I'm not enough, I'm not enough. And you, this affirmation is very good for you at this time. Like, I am always enough. Don't doubt your worth. Trust that whatever it is that you're wanting to create, whatever you're wanting to make, whatever you're wanting to write, whatever you're wanting to paint, you are worth it. You are worthy of putting this work out in the world. It's worthy of being seen by others. It's worthy of being shared. Um, and just trust that, you know, the if you if it makes you happy as you're doing that process, as you're just expressing yourself, then it will certainly transmit and make other people feel happy as well. So that's all the messages I have for you, pal number one. I hope you enjoyed your little short reading on what the goddess is or what the universe is helping you with at this time. Don't forget to leave a comment below if it resonated and hit the like button. It helps tell me which content is resonating for you at the moment. Um, also hit the subscribe button if you are new to my channel and aren't already and the notification bell so you'll be notified when I next upload a reading. Thank you so, so much for being here. All the best with your creative journey. All my love and I will see you in the next reading. Bye. Hi there, pal number two. If you chose Mama Keela with the moon, this will be your reading. So right off the bat, I'm getting for you, pal number two, that there is maybe something around um, self-expression and expressing your truth that has maybe been something that's been a little bit of a struggle for you or something that's been a little bit blocked. With this particular Mama Keela figure, she's got her arms sort of crossed in front of her chest um, and there's a lot of blue, which is linked with the throat chakra, which is all about expressing yourself, expressing your truth, um, feeling comfortable expressing your needs, um, not being very clear and very aligned with your own truth and living from that place, living from that sort of inner authenticity. And I feel like this is maybe something that you're working on at the moment, or you've maybe been struggling with a little bit. There may be some throat chakra healing that's highlighted here for you. Um, so certainly, you know, doing things like um, there's various meditations on YouTube, there's throat chakra healing music, you know, wearing the color blue, using blue crystals. In fact, I've got one right here. A soda like crystal is very, very good for throat chakra blocks and tapping into your self-expression. Um, eating blue foods, of which there are not very many. Blueberries is one is one in particular that comes to mind. But um, yeah, so anything. Also, um, I'm getting um, stream of consciousness writing or journal writing so that you can... Um, sort of get to the point where you can clear out any mental sort of clutter and get down to the core truth of, of, of who you are and what your soul wants to speak to you. Um, because the moon can sometimes in its shadow speak of 
disillusionment or or not seeing the truth of a situation clearly or things just not being revealed to us like things that that feel hidden or not illuminated so there's something around some sort of a truth or getting very clear on your truth or sort of bringing into the light bringing into illumination something from within yourself something related to like yeah your truth your authenticity and and things related to that so let's get into the reading and see what other messages we have for you so we have got yes five of wands so I feel like with this this is this can be a card to do with like conflict and competition. So some of you may be experiencing that in your life with other people. Maybe there's some difficulties with expressing yourself. Maybe there's difficulties with expressing your needs or speaking up around other people. Maybe some of you have a little bit of a tendency to people please. And then you get into situations where you're somehow like denying your own needs in order to kind of like help other people or something, which is creating a sort of sense of inner conflict within you because the five of wands, it, it sometimes speaks of conflict with others. But in this case, I'm feeling like this conflict is coming up for you internally. It may be manifesting a little bit on the outside as well. Um, not necessarily in like, you know, big blow up conflicts or anything with other people, but just maybe issues around like feeling that your needs aren't being met or heard or something like that. Um, but I feel like it's more to do with like, there's some sort of inner conflict, some sort of truth that you're working to uncover and, and sort of stand strongly in is, is the sense that I'm getting. There's some sort of a like, I feel like there's something around a kind of energy where you're a little bit destabilized or something like that. So let's get further into the reading and see what else we've got. So yes, exactly. Exactly what I've just been saying. Flower, be honest with yourself. Yeah. And she's got her, her hand across her stomach and across her mouth blocking her blocking herself from speaking um, or sort of trying to hold something in. So I feel like there's been possibly some sort of situation you've been in recently that has either caused conflict with others or conflict within yourself and I just saw 1717 on the timer and we've got card number 17 here which in numerology adds up to the number eight and eights are about creating like a, a healthy flow that sort of balance of like yin and yang energy it's like related to the infinity symbol um so it's that kind of energy of like, yeah, as within, so without. So maybe if there's something where you're not being very clear, not being honest with yourself about not being, not standing in your own truth within, it's then manifesting up, it's manifesting on the outside or, or sort of presenting itself on the outside as maybe conflict or issues with others or issues where you're maybe getting potentially a little bit taken advantage of, or you're, you're just difficulties with people meeting your needs or something like that and it's because there's this this importance of making sure that you're getting really clear and really honest with your own self and and getting really clear on what is true for you and what your own needs are in whatever this situation is now this is a general reading i'm picking up a few different things for different different people so you know, you can apply this to your own situation. This could be in a relationship. It could be in the workplace. Um, this could be within family dynamics, you know. Um, so it could be that, you know, on the whole, you're a very calm person and you don't really have any conflict with anyone. But then just as soon as you get home, um, something about, you know, maybe some of you are still living with parents or something with that number 17 as well. You could be a bit younger or something like that. Or this could be some conflicts that might have it might have come about as a result of things that might have been to do with like when you were younger, like when you were a teenager or something like that, and you were taught to kind of like suppress your truth in some way or, you know, not have your needs met or that, you know, um, you know, like maybe people were very confrontational around you when you tried to speak your truth. And so there's, something around that truth that has been perhaps a little bit blocked and now it's got to a point where it's like the moon and mama keela is coming through very strongly to say it's really important for you to get clear on your truth and get very clear on where you stand with something and what you want from a situation or what you want from other people or what your own needs are um next we have got yes transformation beautiful and it's interesting we've got 
one half of this butterfly is blue and the other half is yellow and we spoke about blue being linked with the throat chakra with the mama keela and then in this in this um card we've got a yellow dress and she's got her arm across her solar plexus chakra linked with the color yellow which is all about express it's all about um being confident in who you are and being your authentic self and it's just having that sense of like strong self-esteem Um, strong self-confidence and standing in your personal power and then the blue is linked with being able to then express your your authentic self from that confident place so there's maybe some some healing around um around your solar plexus chakra and your throat chakra that the universe is supporting you to go through at this time it might not feel like that it might feel like actually you're being sent a lot of conflicts you're being sent a lot of situations here that are making you stand up for yourself that are forcing you to get clear and be honest with yourself about how you relate with people or how you relate in say relationships or within family or within the workplace or whatever and getting you know it's like the universe may be helping you a little bit indirectly with like, okay, well, if you don't speak up for yourself, if you don't stand up for yourself in certain situations, then maybe you will get taken advantage of, or you will get dragged into situations where it doesn't work for you, or you end up sort of in conflict with people because you're not very aligned with that situation because you haven't been super honest with yourself or with others. You've perhaps just kind of possibly even people pleased and kind of gone along with something, or you've just not taken the time to get really clear or really honest with yourself about whether you want to do something or whether you're able to do something or something like that. Um, so there's going to be a big transformation in this area. This is something that the universe is helping you with at this time so that you can come into, um, more strength, more in a, in a, like, I'm just getting a sense of like, yeah, being able to stand up for yourself, you know, like this, this, this woman here with the, she's got the, again, with the yellow and then she's got the, the wand. It's like, she can, she can kind of fight the good fight if she needs to. She can set those boundaries, those healthy boundaries, right? That are like, okay, you know, sure. Like I can do that project for you, but right now my needs are to do this, this, and this, because, you know, if I'm going to be really honest with myself and with you, I'm actually not able to help you with as much as you, you need me to at this time, because my energy is just not there. So setting healthy boundaries, you know, it's not necessarily saying you've got to cut everyone out of your life or, you know, you need to kind of like go get a whole other set of friends or a whole other job or anything like, no, this transformation happens from within so that you can set strong, healthy boundaries and so that you can better honor your own needs and have other people honor those needs because you've been able to be honest with them and say it's sort of like a a case of like you know inviting people to to honor and respect your boundaries and honor and respect your needs because you've got really clear on what they are and you're confident enough to stand strong in those and express your truth Next, we have healing. Yeah, so I feel like this kind of goes along with, um, you know, with the transformation. There's going to be healing that's going to be happening in this area. Um, I feel like it's going to happen quite organically. But like I said, you can certainly do things to take charge of that healing with, um, you know, doing specific things related to um, solar plexus chakra healing and specific things related to throat chakra healing. Both of those two chakras, which just in case you're new to chakras, these are energy centers in the body there's seven main ones and like i mentioned the throat chakra is 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 connected with the color blue and it's all about speaking your truth and the solar plexus is connected with the color yellow and it's it's like your personal inner sun it's your inner light it's your inner confidence your inner personal power um it's also like kind of that sense of like i think of it as almost a bit like leo energy so it's a bit like you know because leo is linked with the sun um it's like having that like inner fierceness you know and i feel like here the energy with this card it's like she's kind of covering her stomach like kind of trying to shield it trying to hide it because there's not that kind of like core fierceness within her core to be like yeah like you know I I know what I stand for like I can stand up for myself I can take care of myself I can express my my needs you know so there's a a big transformation a big transformation and a big healing happening in this area and finally we've got Azurite and Orchid with Lyran Stargate so some of you if you're if you identify as a starseed you might um 
you might resonate with like being a Liren star seed. Um, but it says personal power. So I'll just focus the camera. Let's see if the camera will focus. There we go. Personal power, healing entanglements, and throat opening. Yeah. Again, with the color blue, this is very similar kind of card with the energy as well, with the sparkly, sparkly blue kind of here. Um, so yeah, and we've got Azurite as a crystal highlighted here so the the crystal azurite could be a very useful one to help you heal these throat chakra blocks and these um to help you step into your personal power which i spoke of with the the inner power your your self-confidence your inner power with the solar plexus chakra um entanglements i feel like is is this really it's this five of wands you know where you're getting entangled in situations with other people that maybe you don't want to be in if you're really honest with yourself um or conflicts with other people or things where yeah you're 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 sort of doing things to people please to like get people to approve of you or like you rather than because you actually want to um if you're really honest with yourself you're like actually I don't even really like these people why am I doing this or why do I keep ending up in these situations so there's something around healing we've got two two cards talking about healing here um so yeah something around healing entanglement so get, getting yourself into situations that if you're honest you don't really want to be in um or or just where other people because because of not having strong healthy boundaries other people are kind of coming in and getting entangled with you and kind of expecting things of you maybe or draining your energy or something like that and that's often those type of entanglements happen um you know because of having a sort of a, a weak um solar plexus chakra and not not being able to sort of stand up for yourself and defend yourself and i'm not saying any of this in like a, oh my gosh pal number two like you know what is wrong with you like why are you not standing up for yourself no not at all i have totally been there myself um even up until you know fairly recently in my life actually i struggled with with this a lot i think many people do especially women it, it can be you know it doesn't have to be just women i think some some men do as well but i think more women tend to it does tend to be more of a female thing unfortunately that we're kind of taught to not really stand up for ourselves or not stand up for our needs or express strong healthy boundaries and kind of people please a little bit more that it does tend to be a like sort of thing with the how you know a lot of females are conditioned or socialized or how sort of gender constructs work you know to um really yeah sort of essentially um suppress that true self suppress that true voice and not you know find it difficult to stand up for yourself to end up sort of getting entangled in other people's things and trying to sort of help everyone else out when actually it's you know might be draining your energy and that type of thing so Right, I feel like that's all the messages that I have for you, pile number two. This is just a short reading today, so I hope that resonated for you. Leave a comment in the box below and hit the like button if it did. It just really helps tell me which content is resonating for you. Um, hit the subscribe button if you're not already and the notification bell so you'll be notified when I next upload a reading. Thank you so, so much for being here. All the best with your journey and I will see you in the next reading. All my love. Bye. Hi there, poll number three. If you chose the beautiful goddess schools with the future, card number 46, this will be your reading. So I feel like what the universe is helping you with, poll number three, is manifesting a beautiful future for yourself. Maybe some of you have been a bit worried about this. I feel like with... Um, the number 46 here in numerology, this adds up to number 10. And number 10 corresponds with like the ending of a cycle or endings and a new beginning. You know, it makes me think of like, you know, if you think of in tarot, like the 10, the tens in tarot, the 10 of pentacles, 10 of cups and so forth, 10 of swords. Um, it's like the end of that cycle in that suit before, you know, it goes through the uh, court cards. So I feel like some of you have just gone through some sort of end of a very big cycle, something that may have been quite difficult or quite painful, and you're, you've really got a, a focus on the future now. You're hoping to manifest a good future for yourself. You're hoping the future is going to look brighter for you. Um, and I feel like with, with Goddess School here, all the energy here is very light. You know, there's a lot of like um sort of crown chakra energy we've got with um she's got this like sort of angelic light on her 
on her head and this sort of golden crown. So I feel like you are going to have a lot of sovereignty in your future. Um, you might be going through a bit of an awakening at the moment. There might have been a bit of an ending of some sort of cycle, like a bit of a sort of death and rebirth that you might be going through where there's somewhat of a like ego death or somewhat of a like ending of some kind of cycle, ending of some kind of part of yourself and then like a rebirth into this new part of yourself, this new more soulful part of yourself maybe um, where like your crown chakra is very open, it's very awake, you're very connected with your higher self and that connection with your higher self is going to guide you towards a brighter future. So this is so such beautiful energy, pile number three. If you have been through anything difficult, I do feel like things are going to look a lot brighter for you in the future. Next, we've got temperance here. Yes, I feel like this is kind of saying about the importance of keeping that balance because temperance is all about a balance, making sure that you're, you know, kind of um, possibly going through a period of healing as well. Temperance can be to do with healing. Um, it can be to do with receiving that like um, wisdom from above and then integrating it to into like your sort of day-to-day -day life kind of thing you can see she's pouring you know from a jug of water up above into a cup below so it's like you know focusing a lot on your emotional health on your happiness on your fulfillment um, with that water energy there this is all about emotions and fulfillment so there might be a period of sort of like you know, healing out any kind of emotional imbalances or um, kind of coming into a period of balance and equilibrium, um, you know, a balance of like energies, a balance also of your masculine and feminine energies as well I'm seeing because with this particular temperance card, this is um, personified by Coco Chanel. And uh, one of the highlights of Coco Chanel's way of designing fashion was to to design dresses and and um certain sort of day wear for women where you know it allowed them to be a lot more free and it allowed them to um you know be able to move about a lot more like it was kind of a, a very interesting balance between like masculine and feminine dress or like you know, it was still very chic, but it allowed a lot more like movement and freedom. And, and at the time, she was somewhat criticized for, you know, making very like masculine style of dress for, for women where previously they'd worn, you know, like all these massive sort of um, bustles and like, you know, sort of big hoop skirts and things that they couldn't walk, um, move around very much. So there's, there's an energy around you, like possibly balancing your masculine and feminine energies in some way, balancing that um uh, drive to take action on things with um that feminine energy of receptivity of um being connected with your emotions your intuition um uh, also kind of keeping one foot in the present moment uh, grounded in in the here and now and then one foot in the future one foot in that sort of visionary uh you know flux in that kind of like the the spirit world if you like so maybe if for some of you you might be quite connected with the spirit world you might be um very a like able to sort of channel or or you know you're very able to connect with your higher self with that um crown chakra opening i spoke about with the um, goddess school here there could be um, a part of you where one thing you're balancing out is being able to remain very grounded in the in the practical world in the day-to-day -day world in the physical realm and the 3d realm but also keeping like one foot in the spiritual world one foot connected to you know your higher self or to uh you know the the angel angelic realm for example or the goddesses or you know, whatever you like to connect with the universe or um, ascended masters or the Akashic realm or, you know, the sort of um, the muse, if you like, some of you might be quite creative. So you might, you know, sort of have to find that balance between very connected with your your inner muse and with your like, you know, the realities of dealing with, you know, your day to day stuff like paying your bills and things like that. So there's a definite um What's being highlighted is definitely doing some sort of a, like making sure that you're very in balance, you're finding that equilibrium, you're finding your footing with both being in the here and now, as well as focusing on the future and what you want to manifest in the future. That will help you to manifest a, a very um, 
a beautiful future that you you really want next we have oh yes exactly phoenix how's that for a happily ever after and this woman standing here with her arms out she's got a crown on as well i'm noticing here so there's definitely something around crown chakra healing or crown chakra opening or awakening being connected with your higher self finding that sovereignty um, within where you're very ruled by your higher self I feel like that is something that the universe is really helping you with at this time and also manifesting your happily ever after so if you are wanting some sort of a storybook situation in your future if you're doing a lot of manifesting at the moment you're trying to manifest something in particular whether it's a beautiful partnership or some kind of you know like career thing stepping into your purpose or whatever it might be it's like you know you are going to live happily ever after this future is assured for you it's just about making sure you find that balance between staying rooted in the present and focused on the present living in the here and now as well as keeping like one eye to this future I feel like with Phoenix maybe some of you might have been through quite a difficult time um, you might have been burned in some way in the past, whether that was in a romantic relationship or in the workplace or something like that, or even in your family life, something like had to get burned away, something had to be released, um, you know, with all these like little um, sort of mini fires that are kind of, I feel like they've, they've, that's happened and gone though. I don't think this is something that's happening to you now. It's like, you know, the embers are kind of, dying out and there's there's you are uh, rising up from the ashes of whatever it was that happened to you and just like the the phoenix and opening up to a bright new future so this is so beautiful I feel like with the number nine as well this corresponds with you know it makes me think of like the nine of cups or the nine of pentacles which is all about like independence and like embracing that like state of independence and self-love and feeling you know self-confident and um going through going through a time where you're like somewhat self-sufficient sort of thing like before the before the end of the cycle comes in terms of like the ten of cups which is like your you know your happy ending you know it's like all the cups you know every, every emotional fulfillment in every regard coming in you know, as as is shown with the Ten of Cups, you're at the stage of the Nine of Cups at the moment where you're just, you're meeting your own needs, you're embracing your life, you're independent, you're happy, you're finding that balance, you know, finding the equilibrium again after maybe something difficult. And that is going to like put you in a really strong space to be open to um, a beautiful new future coming in. So next we have, yes, inner peace, exactly what I was saying about like equilibrium, you're manifesting equilibrium for you or the universe is helping you find your equilibrium, they're helping you find inner peace. Um, so maybe some of you might have been through, like I said, quite a difficult time in the past, but you're coming into a beautiful new peaceful period now, I'm also seeing with these two fish here swimming along together that maybe some of you might be manifesting a very beautiful and harmonious partnership where you'll be like kind of flowing through life together. I think, although I might be wrong, I'm not very familiar with fish. These might be like some kind of koi cup, which I think make for life. So yeah, that might be. this might be something that's highlighted for some of you if that's what you're wanting to manifest. This is something that is going to be your happily ever after or something that is going to come in in the future. Yes, exactly. Success card number 20. Beautiful. Yeah, so I feel like you already have the key to your own success within you, your future, you in your future, this is something you want to manifest for yourself. If you are looking to have a very successful career in some regard, you are definitely going to find success with that. It is going to be something that like, I feel like you already have the key inside you or, or this is something you've already started. You've already, um, set the wheels in motion is kind of the energy I'm getting it's like you already yeah you you you've already started something that is going to bring you a lot of success in some way and the more that you can stay really balanced with your energy and stay really like grounded in the present moment will be the more that you can kind of open to seeing that success manifesting for you 
Um, I'm also getting with the Libra again, um, this is about balance essentially as well. So a double message about balance here with both temperance and the Libra sign. So Libra also can be a sign of partnership and harmony. So again, for those of you that are trying to manifest a harmonious partnership, that could also be highlighted. Um, but if you're more wanting to manifest some kind of success in your professional life or in your purpose, that is definitely something that um, you absolutely have the key for. This is going to be unlocked for you. This is something that the universe is helping you manifest in the future. And finally, we have the diamond ray with diamond light body, high frequency activations and planetary grid work. I feel like this is kind of echoing the message with Phoenix with um, you might have been through something difficult in the past and you're rising up like a Phoenix from the ashes, just like a diamond. You know, diamonds are created in extreme circumstances. It's only from the huge amount of pressure that is put on these certain kind of minerals that causes them to turn into a diamond. Like the shiniest diamond has come from the roughest situations. You know, it's come from the most pressure being put on it so I do feel like you know if you have had a lot of pain in the past or you have had a lot of difficulty or struggle or a lot of things that have been taken away from you or, or burned down or something like that you know this has been about the universe kind of like um, I wouldn't say like deliberately putting you in these situations but like some of these situations your soul has somewhat called in in order to like uh, I guess grow you to be the shiniest possible diamond that you can be like it's only through having gone through those painful situations having undergone that huge amount of pressure in the past that you're going to be able to create this beautiful successful prosperous peaceful future for yourself um i just saw 13 13 on the timer which is um in numerology adds up to four four and fours are all about creating foundations so I do feel like this is something where you're creating a brand new foundation a successful foundation for yourself it's going to be so much more balanced there's going to be so much more peace so much more harmony you really are creating a happily ever after for yourself this is something that is assured for you in the future and this is something that the universe is helping you with with the planetary good grid work here and we've got like a um almost like it looks a little bit like the earth behind this diamond I do feel like maybe for some of you grounding could be especially important at this time as you go through this sort of um like phoenix awakening if you like or crown chakra awakening especially if you are very connected to um you know the other side in some way making sure that you're staying as grounded as possible with the earth um, that will help you like get all the sort of upgrades that you need as well as stay like centered and grounded um, in order to be able to like bring about your success on the physical plane as well. There's something around sort of with grid work, it's that idea of like, you know, um, sort of crystal healing and things like that, um, or like ley lines or, you know, going to um, places, um, you know, special places with like planetary um, beautiful like planetary energy activation sort of thing like um, you know Stonehenge and things like that obviously some of you may not be able to have access to be, being able to get to those places and that's completely fine you don't necessarily have to take off and go there but just you know doing um, doing things to help you connect with the earth or doing things to connect with um those types of energies could be very helpful for you. So if you are able to get out into them, that's great. Or even just like looking these things up, you know, online might be something that, um, sorry for knocking the camera, that might be something that could be quite activating for you or something where um, you might... Um, you you might there might be like meditations or something on YouTube like um Steve Noble's got some in fact like I think he does some of his like transmissions and activations from places like Glastonbury and various places like this where there's like strong planetary kind of like grid work situations going on and you know um that can be very like activating it can very it, it can like help you kind of activate your light body and like um yeah, be able to like shine like the diamond that you really are, because I really do feel that you're a very special soul pile three, you have a very special future that is highlighted here, a very successful future, definitely a happy ever after. So 
yeah i feel like that's all the messages i have for you today i hope that resonated for you uh leave me a comment below if it did and hit the like button it just helps tell me which content is resonating for you at the moment as i grow my channel um thank you so so much for being here and letting me read for you today don't forget to hit the subscribe button button if you're not already and the notification bell so you'll be notified when i next upload a reading all the best with your uh endeavors and i will see you in the next reading all my love bye hello part number four if you chose the beautiful goddess opponent with wise leadership this will be your reading so right off the but I feel like pile number four, one of the things that the universe is helping you with is stepping into your power as a leader in some way, shape or form. Now, this could be different for all of you. For some of you, this could look quite sort of conventional, like stepping up as a leader or a manager or something, something like that in your job. For others of you, this could be stepping up as some kind of spiritual leader or um, a leader in terms of, um, you know, some kind of almost like starting a revolution or starting like a really important project or something where you're leading a community or you're leading a nonprofit or you're leading, you know, like I'm kind of seeing someone do, um, yeah, some kind of like charity work or nonprofit work or, um, like leading a sort of like a campaign or something overseas or something like that um, to bring about like sort of like fairness because I'm getting with that wise leadership. It's something around like being bringing a lot of wisdom to people, bringing your like insight and um, yeah, like years of wisdom to, to some kind of project or something like that. For others of you, this could be on a more... Um, smaller on a smaller scale even you know leadership doesn't have to look like you know a really like rah-rah kind of thing like out in the world it can even be within you know your your sort of school or within your family or within your community or um you know within a smaller project or something like that but there's something around like stepping up into your power of being a leader in some form so let's get a little bit more insight from the cards so we have got three of wands yeah I feel like for some of you you already have a vision for where you want to go I feel like you're very clear on what you want to manifest in the future uh, you're very clear on where you're going, where you're heading. You've got a very strong vision for like what you want to manifest in the future. Um, you are a visionary, I see. Like you might, some of you might um, be Aquarius or have Aquarius really strong in your chart, but you're just a very like original, inventive, visionary type person. You're able to like see a solution to a problem for humanity is what I'm getting hence the kind of wise leadership it's like you've got these visions these ideas for things that could really help humanity out in some way um, and it's like with the wands this is related to like your your passions your creativity your spiritual fire your spiritual spark kind of thing and it's like there's three wands here and all of them have like been planted and they're starting to sprout little seeds so I feel like this leadership project or this thing you're wanting you're being called to step up into or that the universe is supporting you to step up into is something that you've already sowed the seeds for in the past like possibly quite recently but maybe for some of you you have been working on this for a while um, but I do see that like the, the more that you're able to visualize this project coming into being, the more that like it will manifest for you. Next, we have universe. We're all just stardust. Yeah, exactly. This is this is definitely I'm getting Aquarius vibes from some of you. You may not be an Aquarius sun sign, but you might just have Aquarius really strong in your chart somewhere or you just have that kind of vibe of like you're very connected with like the universe. You're very original. Um, you're like, I feel like as well, we're all just stardust. It's like you like you have an ability to like connect beyond the veil you're very like um 
yeah, just kind of original, unique. You are like a star. I feel like you are going to be someone who is going to step up and be seen in the world in some way. You are going to be some kind of star. You have that like star energy within you. Um, you have the ability to like impact like your universe kind of thing or like work with the universe to manifest things as well, I'm getting. Um, with the the sort of the hands and like the stardust like in in the inside the hands it's like you know how to like yeah I don't say like manipulate the universe necessarily but it's like you know how to manifest things you know how to like work with like the fabric of the universe is what I'm getting it's like this very like cosmic energy here you might identify as some kind of like cosmic witch or you might do sort of like cosmic rituals or manifesting rituals um something like that where you kind of like really able to like m sort of work with the fabric of reality or like change your reality in some way is what I'm getting so very interesting energy yeah let's see what else we have here we've got opportunity whoa yes it's also very cosmic energy again we've got this like night sky both here and here and we've got a crescent moon so maybe on the next new moon, this could be a powerful time to like um, set those intentions. It could be a powerful opportunity to do any kind of manifesting rituals that you may be wishing to do. Set that vision in place for something that you might be specifically wanting to manifest around this leadership role. So if you are wanting to, for example, get a promotion in your job, that might be step stepping up into more of a leadership position. Or if you're wanting to be given some funding in order to go and do a project. If you're wanting to be the leader of some kind of campaign or some kind of nonprofit project or in your community or something like that. Or even wanting to be a parent, you know, that can be being a leader, right? or just a leader a leader in your community in some form whatever it is I feel like that the universe is helping you manifest like vision and see and bring about an opportunity for you to be able to use this power really strongly and I feel like the next new moon which I think is uh we're just about to have the full moon in um we've got a full moon coming up in Capricorn and then there's a new moon in Cancer I think it is is the next new moon which is on the 17th of July so the if you're watching this at the time I've uploaded the next new moon is a little a little bit of time away but the, you know that could be a good time to get really clear on what your intentions are on what you want to bring about and then do that new moon ritual um, or maybe around that time from whenever you're watching this maybe around the time of the next new moon might be when an exciting opportunity comes in for you uh let's see what else we have here so next we've got cleansing interesting yeah and we've got these candles here so possibly doing some kind of like candle ritual on the new moon could be really useful and we've got a crescent moon here as well um so yeah very interesting um with the cleansing, I feel like maybe for some of you, decluttering or getting clear, like sort of clearing out anything old that might be holding you back from stepping into this new position or going on this journey. With this three of wands, she's got a backpack on and it looks like she's kind of like headed in a new direction. She's going on a journey. She's looking out towards the future and like making moves to go there. So maybe some of you are needing to move in order to step into this this more like powerful position or this position of leadership. There might be an opportunity coming in for you to travel somewhere um, you know, it could be just moving like to another local town or it could be traveling overseas. You know, it might be different for all of you, depending on what it is, or it could just be like moving departments within your company or something. But there's sort of a sense of like possibly going on a little bit of a journey with that backpack there or like kind of needing to, to move for this opportunity. So the vibe I'm getting with the cleansing is like getting prepared for that before it even happens, like getting, getting prepared now as if you are going to manifest this opportunity. So even if you don't know if this is definitely going to happen, getting in the the energy now, getting prepared, like decluttering, you know, like already being like, okay, well, I don't know when this might come about, but like maybe in the next year I might want to move to be able to go and do this, like, you know, um, lead this project overseas or something. So like for now, I need to like get rid of some clutter. I need to kind of start giving some stuff away to charity or something or like, you know, kind of start 
putting some stuff in storage or like clearing out my house or kind of clearing out some old things. There's something around like kind of cleansing that's going to get you in the right energy to sort of, um, I guess, like bridge that from your present to your future get to help you sort of get from the point where you're like just imagining it to the point where it's actually happening because it's like you've already kind of put those wheels in motion by acting as if it's going to happen and being like okay well I'm going to have to be ready to move like at a moment's notice to come and do this thing so like I better start like clearing up my house or like kind of decluttering things or like um making sure I'm I'm sort of in a position to be able to move quite quickly if this opportunity comes in because it does feel like you know this is something the universe is helping you with so there is an opportunity that's coming in for you there is something that I feel like you have been trying to manifest or you have been visualizing that is actually going to come about and it's it's really important to be really ready for that opportunity so you can fully jump into it when it comes in so lastly we have green epidote and star jasmine with restructure identifying reframing and enhancing interesting so yeah there might be something around with the cleansing and the restructuring refining reframing enhancing so there might be something around kind of tweaking something or like um yeah maybe you're you're relocating you could be your company could be restructuring and sending you to like to work on a different opportunity here um maybe for some of you if you have your own business or something there might be a period of time where you have to get really clear on how you can lead that business forward and like have a clear vision for where you want to go, where you want to take your business, what you want to do in the future, maybe a bit of a restructure of your business of what you want to focus on, you know, reframing, like, yeah, sort of identifying what goals you want to go after, reframing, you know, what, um, what sort of like the vision, I guess, you know, because a frame is like, you know, looking through, you know, sort of identifying, okay, I'm going to be looking over here. Now I'm going to be looking towards this mountain. This is the mountain we want to climb. We want to do, you know, X amount of sales in our business over the next year, or we want to impact X amount of people, or we want to be able to deliver this charity work to, you know, X amount of countries or, you know, whatever it is, whatever your thing is, and it'll be different for all of you, whatever you're wanting to lead on, there's an opportunity to like create a vision, a very clear vision for it to get to really refine that vision, get very clear on it. Um, and then go. there'll be a process of enhancing. There'll be a process where I feel like once you've got really clear on what that vision is, it's like the universe is going to come in with that like universe here. It's like the universe is supporting this vision. The universe has your back. The universe is working with you to bring this about. The universe is going to bring you an opportunity. It's just really important to clear out anything that's not been working, you know, cleanse out anything that isn't working even if that's like toxic energies around you people who aren't supporting you um clutter around your workplace or around your home things that are holding you back you know really do that kind of clearing decluttering cleansing getting very clear on where you're heading and this the universe is going to step in and kind of support you uh to where you're wanting to go but there may just be a little bit of a restructuring or a little bit of a refinement that needs to happen before this opportunity comes in. Um, yeah, a little bit of a... Yeah, I feel like it's kind of, it'll be different for all of you. For some of you, it's kind of identifying what where it is you're wanting to go in terms of like what you're wanting to lead on. Um for others of you, it's you're already leading on something and it's it's getting really clear on. I'm so sorry, Pile 4. I just had a bit of a coughing fit there. <clears throat> Excuse me. So as I was saying, for some of you, this is about identifying what you what opportunities you want to step into and getting really clear on those. And for others of you, it's enhancing something that you may be already working on or creating a new framework. Like maybe you've already cl crossed this hill or you've already reached one milestone or one achievement or one opportunity. And now you're like setting your goals, setting your vision on something even bigger. You're tackling something even bigger. 
you're bringing your leadership skills and your vision visionary skills to something even bigger. So super excited for you, Pano. For this sounds like an absolutely amazing opportunity that is going to be coming in for you. Uh, please comment below if this resonated. I would really love to hear what you guys are up to. It sounds incredible. All the best with your journey. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoy this reading. It helps tell me which content is resonating for you uh, as I grow this channel. Um, hit the subscribe button if you're not already and the notification bell so you'll be notified when I next upload a reading. Thank you so, so much for being here and letting me read for you today. All the best with your journey and I will see you in the next reading. All my love.